Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In New Reincarnation, I got SSS1 versus Dark, full auto. And this is about like the last hour of a season two of Subjugations. I kept putting this one off and off and off. This is always the most difficult element for me. But I was watching uh, Far Plains uh, live stream. He was also playing the, uh, the Subjugation, so that inspired me to uh, get off my butt and try it, and I managed to pull it off, so very happy about this. Maybe two weeks ago or so, I was thinking that maybe I wanted to change my approach to subjugations and then come at it from a full auto point of view. I explained in the previous video that this is a kind of a more simulation game uh, type of way to play rather than uh, action. And so I took the things that I learned from getting the clear of, I think it was versus fire and versus some other element, and I applied it to uh, this one, and then also power creep. Uh, we have some new anniversary characters. Uh, I got some other weapons and stuff. There's the new uh, monkey companion. So I thought I would put that in there. And that helped me get the clear. Uh, but we can see the, uh, the numbers here. Everything is as usual except for the max combo bonus. I decided to totally just throw away the max combo bonus. Try to get the uh, SSS1 without it. Okay, and then here are the results uh, by wave, uh, by character. Maybe the biggest change is that, again, wave one, just throwing away the combo. I just put uh, three big attackers in there because I figured I didn't need any support. I didn't need to worry about uh, attacks coming my way. I could just put three attackers in there. And then we see uh, 11 million damage from both Lavania and uh, 063Y. That's great. And then a uh, wave two, this is where the boss will target the uh, character with the highest attack. Uh, so here again, I'm using a New Year's Noel because she has a lower attack than uh, Leon here, but she has that 40% buff from the beginning of battle, so she can avoid uh, getting targeted, but still do good damage. And then in a Wave 3, I'm using a couple new characters. I'm using uh, Anniversary Yuri as the main attacker, and then my new Bloody Argo. He has like some, uh, what is it, Pursuit? Pursuit buff, so we'll see if we can make use of that. All right, here's a closer look at uh, Wave 1. I'm going with uh, proficient weapons for everybody just to uh, raise their damage. And then the two left companions, I'm doing attack up because they'll be used in order from left to right. So hopefully we can buff our attack. And then memoirs, a lot of uh, critical rate. And then uh, that light greatsword, uh, that is main hand on uh, 063Y there. I uh, recently pulled that the other day. I really, really wanted it. I think it's one of the better uh, light attacking weapons out there. Okay, let's head in. Uh, again, full auto, so I can't really talk about my uh, technique. <laughs> but yeah, the way that you do these is that, you know, you set up your team, you go through and you watch and you observe. Uh, you look at uh, what could be better and you try to rearrange things so that uh, things will turn out better. Uh, 063Y, he has a uh, Bold Vigor on his weapon. So I did give him the uh, staff with the one-time heal so that uh, he could go back, maybe above 70% HP. And hopefully I can uh, get to knockdown before the character skills come out. Perfect. Unfortunately, Lavanias comes out last. That has the, uh, the defense break. But whatever. And then if you do slow down uh, the speed, the uh, auto battle speed, uh, you can kind of get more regular attacks in there. But I decided just to leave it on. Totally full auto. <laughs> I wish I had Abyssal Theo, and I wish I had her fist but I may do with what I have here. Okay, that was wave one. Wave two, anything to say here? I put the healing staff on uh, Lars uh, so that I could keep up the HP on uh, New Year's Noel, because she's also a uh, Bold Vigor attacker here. Uh, but the, uh, the targeting was so good by manipulating the HP that I didn't need it, so I probably wanted to put it in the, uh, the third wave, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, anything else here? No. Also, memoirs here, a lot of uh, critical damage and critical rate up on Noel. 
Okay, let's head in. I'm happy that I'm still able to use uh, New Year's Noel as an attacker. Uh, people like her, or uh, Lakuma Lars, or uh, Dark Memory Lavania, you know? They have those uh, limited time attack buffs, so you can kind of manipulate the AI like this. Uh, it seems, though, in Season 3, uh, that some of the uh, targeting of the uh, single target attacks in Wave 2 will be a little bit different. It will hit the uh, character that has the lowest defense rather than the highest attack. That's not in all elements, it's only in some. Uh, but yeah, that's something to uh, consider. That could be easier or harder to do, depending on your uh, team setup. Okay, but here too, we're able to get in a character skill for uh, New Year's Noel. Again, she would prefer to get in two character skills during knockdown, but with a full auto. That's not really going to be possible. And yeah, she was able to maintain a good HP all the way through. Okay, that was wave two. Here is wave three. Anything to say here? Not really. Okay, let's head in. Using some not that great three-star weapons on my two support characters. <laughs> okay, we're at about half HP and then there's the burn as well. If I had some bad luck and somebody went down, then I would have um, reset or uh, exited out and then retried, but thankfully I didn't have to do that here. It was at this point that I was wondering if I was going to be able to make it to Knockdown before Yuri's character skill came out. <laughs> Gale's a decent damage source, but Argo really isn't. He's only level 70. Ooh, and one HP on these guys. Okay, just barely made it. <laughs> Alright, and then again with the uh, positioning, I'm putting my uh, attacker, main attacker, in the middle. Uh, because if character skills uh, charge at the same time, it seems that the characters on the side will always do theirs first. And then uh, the person in the middle will do theirs, so... I was able to get in the attack buff before setting off Yuri's character skill. And great damage from her! Alright, so that'll do it for Season 2. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Season 3. It doesn't look that different, which is a little disappointing. I was kinda hoping for like a uh, new boss or something, but uh, yeah, I will uh, keep approaching this with the uh, full auto mindset. And there again are the results. And then here is my uh, end of season score. Looks very clean, all of them SSS1. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.